Good day, boys and girls. So what are we going to talk about today? Today we are going to talk about homes. All of us have a home that we live in with our family. Our home is our special place where we are free to do as we please. But there are still rules that we must abide to. Our home is our happy place. You are going to be quite surprised when you learn about the many different things in and around your home that we never really thought of. So, are you ready to start, boys and girls? Although it is a life skills lesson, we are also going to learn about numeracy and literacy. In Activity 1, we are going to discover that each home is different, but it is special in its own way. Activity 2 will teach us that animals also have a home. And in our final activity, we are going to see if our home is really as safe as it should be. So let's get started, boys and girls. Activity 1. Let's discover what our home looks like. Carefully look at the following pictures and answer the questions. Number 1. Identify the type of homes that you see on these pictures. In which of these homes do you live? Name the different parts each house has. Look carefully, boys and girls. Yes, boys and girls. I can see a house. I can see a cottage. A double-story house. I can see a hut. I can see a shack and a flat. Look carefully at them. They all have a roof, doors, walls, and windows. And I'm sure that you can identify with one of these homes. And you live in one of these homes. Very well done, boys and girls. Activity 2. Can you identify the following animals, homes, and tell mommy and daddy which animal lives in each of these homes? I see a kennel, and a nest, and a basket, and a fish tank. Who lives in these homes? Awesome, boys and girls, you are right. A dog or a puppy sleeps in a kennel. Well done. A bird's home is called a nest. A cat or a kitten sleeps in a basket. And... We keep fishes in a fish tank. Well done, boys and girls. Activity 3. How safe is your home? Yes, boys and girls. Did you know our home can also be a place of danger? If we are not careful and if we do not obey the rules mommy and daddy lay down, we can get hurt. So I want you to look at the picture and tell me what is wrong in this picture. Let's see how well you guys did. Yes. Ensure that there are child safety plugs, covers, the wall. Otherwise, the children will put their fingers in the plugs. 
Do not play with matches, boys and girls, or lighters, because you can start a fire. Mommy and Daddy must always make sure to turn the handles of the pots and the pans to the inside so that the baby cannot touch or pull on it. And keep all dangerous objects and glass bottles out of reach of children because it can be very, very dangerous. So I hope that you've learned now and next time when you see any of these things around, remind mommy and daddy it should not be there. For more fun boys and girls, click on this link and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Bye! Till next time!